Today I'm talking about Tesla wheels and tires. I see so many people discuss this topic in my Facebook group and a lot of other Tesla related communities, but I just haven't seen a good portal of information uh, about uh, this topic where we can find answers to all of these questions. So I figured I'll bundle them all up. The most, the most commonly asked questions that I see you guys are talking about out there and have them answered all at once. And what the best place to do it at than one of the world's largest independent wheel and tire companies, the Discount Tire Company, or as we know them here in California, the America's Tire Company. So I'm here at their Millbrae location because that's where they service one of the largest numbers of Teslas. So they really, really know what they're talking about. So I'm very confident we're going to get all of the answers that we're looking for. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, well, you're kind of hurting my feelings a little, but also you're missing out on a lot of good information about Tesla cars and electric cars in general. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there. And if you have already, also go ahead and click on the bell notification icon right next to it so you don't miss anything moving forward. Do Tesla tires wear out faster than other cars? And if so, why? Uh, usually they do wear a little bit faster, uh, mainly because the vehicle is a lot heavier and also there's a lot of torque and power on the vehicle. So it does put a little bit more strain on the tires and does cause them to wear out a little bit faster than most vehicles. A lot of owners, including myself, notice that with the, you know, uh, one motor Tesla versus the dual motor, uh, the back tires wear out much faster. Is that because there's only one motor and it's on the back and it, all the torque that goes into the back tires? Uh, yes, that's exactly it. When most of the power goes to the rear of the vehicle, that does put more strain on the rear tires compared to the fronts. And so is there a remedy for that? Uh, is there something we can do to kind of slow it down? Uh, the main thing you can do is uh, maintain the tires properly. So regular tire rotations, uh, maintaining the proper air pressure in the tires. And, uh, you know, the harder you drive on the vehicle, the, the more stress the tires are going to go into. So if you're easier on the gas and the brake, it'll help the tires last a little bit. Accelerator. Exactly. And the gas. <laughs> exactly. yeah. But I don't think we can take it easy because you're just fun. Yes. <laughs> but okay, point taken. Yes. Um, and so can you rotate tires on all of the Tesla Model S and X models? Or there's some that you can only rotate them left to right? Yeah, there are some Model X's and Model S's that have different size tires on the front and the rear. Uh, with those type, you cannot do a rotation front to back. Um, you can get a little bit better wear if you rotate them side to side, but it's not as beneficial as being able to rotate them front to back. And so, yeah, let's talk about the sizes. Can you tell us the difference between having, let's say, 19-inch wheels versus 21 on the Model S and 20 versus 22 on the Model X as far as like, the driving experience but also maintenance? Well, um, with the 19-inch wheels, you're going to have a thicker sidewall. Uh, with that sidewall, it's going to help a couple of things. Um, you're going to get an enhanced ride comfort. Um, it's just a smoother ride. Um, also, it's the more sidewall is going to be able to absorb things in the road better. So if you hit a bump in the road or you hit a pothole, there's a little bit more rubber there to absorb that. So less, you know, impacts, damage, and things like that on the 19-inch. When you go up to the 20-inch, that's going to be more for the spirited driver. You know, you're going to have a shorter sidewall that's going to give you better handling and better performance. Um, the downside to those is they're going to wear out a little bit faster. Um, and then also if you hit a pothole or you hit a bump in the road, there's not as much rubber there to absorb that. So, you know, bubbles on the sidewall and impact damage and things like that are going to be more common. And I think you meant 21 inch, right? So 21 for the Model S, 22 for the Model X as far as thinner rubber. Okay. And as far as maintaining it, is it more expensive to maintain it? And so why and how, and do you have to change them more often? Uh, with the 21 inch and the 22 inch, um, you are going to have to replace them more often. Um, as far as the maintenance goes, it's the, it's the same. You know, um, if you bring any of the vehicles down to one of our stores at America's Tire, uh, we do the tire rotations at no charge, uh, whether you purchase the tires from us or not. Um, and that will help, you know, get a little bit more life out of the tires. Let's talk about something that I think most Tesla drivers just really enjoyed about their cars is the fact that they're really quiet, right? Because there is no sound from an engine and it's just a very quiet car, except for one thing is the noise of tires. Um, can you talk about if there are certain type of tires that are a little bit more noisy and some that are specifically made to be very, very quiet? 
Um, yes, a lot of the tires that Tesla uses originally on their vehicles are designed to be a lot quieter. Um, now, one of the things with that is there tend to be a little bit softer rubber compound. You know, some people do change outside of the original equipment tires, but, you know, there are some ups and downs to that. Um, you know, sometimes the tires could be a little bit noisier. Um, so, you know, I, I do recommend staying with a premium quality tire so that way you still get the benefits of having a nice quiet ride. And lately, especially this year, Tesla has been putting foam type of tires with a foam lining on the inside on the performance cars. Can you talk about what they are and, and what makes them the quietest tires out of all of them? So basically what the foam is designed to do inside of the tire is it absorbs any of the noise that is coming from the road. So instead of that noise being transferred into the cabin of the vehicle, it's absorbed by the foam, which helps maintain a little bit quieter ride compared to the tires that do not have foam. What are the most common problems that you've seen Tesla owners come, you know, come in with and is, is there something that we can do to avoid them? Um, there's two things that are pretty common that we see. Um, we see lots of road hazards. Um, you know, there's the, because of the way the tires are designed with the heavy vehicle and especially with the conditions of the roads, um, you know, we, we do see a lot of road hazards. So people coming in with flat tires, you know, things of that nature. Um, you know, a lot of the, the flat tires we're able to repair, uh, which at any America's Tire, we do the flat tire repairs at no charge. Um, but another common thing is the way that the tires wear. Um, you know, if, if you have a performance package with a 21 inch wheel, a lot of times we see them wearing a little bit more on the inside edge of the tire, which is just the way that the vehicle is set up. Um, you know, there's not really anything you can do to avoid that, um, but in order to get the maximum life out of the tires, just maintaining them properly, rotations, proper air pressure, things like that. And when we come in for an appointment, does it usually take longer to change tires on uh, Tesla cars or it's pretty much the same? Um, it's pretty much the same. I mean, the, the wheels and tires are a little bit harder to do compared to, let's say, your standard Honda Civic. Um, but if you call an America's Tire and schedule an appointment, usually we can get the service completed in about 45 minutes to an hour. Now, once it's time to change the tires for the first time on, on the Tesla vehicles, uh, is there some type of a tire or brand that you guys recommend that fits it well? Or should everybody kind of try to go with the same tire that, that was on the car uh, when they bought it? Well, uh, Michelin does you know, come originally on the vehicle and they are going to be one of the better tires. Um, when Tesla first started coming out, they did use a couple of different brands, but it seems like now they're going more towards, you know, Goodyear's, Michelin's and Continental's as being the tires they're using. Uh, we try to carry as many of those options in stock and those are the tires that we typically recommend for that vehicle. Okay. Now let's talk about something that, you know, uh, again, Tesla owners love about their cars because it's not just a car. It's sort of almost like a, it's a smart car, right? We enjoy a lot of things that the car can do for us or think for us and drive for us and stuff like that. But, um, I've heard that now there are technologies that are created for tires to be pretty much smart tires where they collect data uh, for the customer, for the brand to make the tires better, but also to maybe notify the customer and the driver that it's time to change the tire or there's something wrong with the tire and it's all done through the cloud services. Can you talk about this technology that we're, that we're hoping is going to be here soon and when do you think it's going to be out? Well, it's hard to say exactly when it's going to be out, but there's a few different manufacturers right now that are working on this new technology where they actually put a small microchip inside of the tires. And what this microchip does is it just transmits data to the vehicle where the driver could see the condition of their tires. And sometimes they're even going as far as, you know, based on the condition of the tire, helping the vehicle, you know, kind of set itself up to get the best performance out of the tires. So, you know, we haven't really seen a lot of that yet released on the market, but it's definitely in the works and it's pretty exciting to see that coming on. I can't wait. Uh, um, so maybe in the next couple of years, I would assume? Uh, possibly. I know it's been in the works for a long time, um, you know, and, and I can't wait to see the first one roll into the shop. Well, I hope you guys found this information useful. I certainly have, but if we missed something, if you still have some questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I will try to get them answered, or maybe we'll just do another segment where we'll, we'll, we'll just have another batch of questions for these guys. I'm sure they'll be happy to help us out again. Well, that's it for me here in Millbury, California, the America's Tire Company. I will see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.